Word of the week is determination. Uh, you can see here the definition we have there is a firmness of your purpose, will, or intention. Uh, outstanding quote here by uh, Vince Lombardi, the difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather than a lack of will. Determination is for this ball game this week. You've got to be determined that I am not going to let these seniors down in this ball game. They can trust me, whether I'm a freshman, whether I'm a senior, that I'm going to go out here in this ball game and play the best game that I can. And you hear me say that all the time because that's what you can control. What has happened has happened. You can control today. Am I going to get better today? I'm determined that I'm going to get better today. Coaches, we're the same. And that's what we're going to try to do here. This Saturday's game versus Baylor marks the seventh time the Jayhawks have played a ranked opponent this season. Although the challenge is familiar, for 15 seniors playing their final game at Memorial Stadium, this weekend carries a little extra weight. I mean, senior day is emotional because, you know, uh, like I say, it's your last time being here, last opportunity to play at your home stadium. And it's just your last time for some of us just to play the game of football. It seems like two days. You can lapse that over five years. It's just, just unimaginable how fast it goes. Uh, you kind of think when you're playing that you'll never have a last game. It's kind of mixed emotions. It's a bittersweet feeling, you know, knowing that it's my last uh, game here at Memorial. You know, I just want to end out on top, you know, and uh, leave my legacy. <laughs> I'm going to miss, like, wearing that uniform, putting on that helmet, you know, wearing that blue. This, this game means a lot to, to all of us. And I'll say for the specific thought that, you know, we've been through some ups and some downs. I'm not just talking about season, I'm not talking about games, I'm talking about in life. You know, we learned a lot, we came together, we've bled together, we've, we've just been through a lot together, on and off the field. These guys are my brothers. Everything we went through it just makes them closer and closer and closer. You know, it doesn't matter if you, if you hang out or whatever, those guys will always be there, pat you on the back. They know what you've been through. They've been through that same grind with you. They've been through every workout, every hand down, everything that we've had to do since we've been here. It's a bond that can never be broken. The friends that I've made here at Kansas will definitely change my life forever. My best friends for life, all of them will probably be in my wedding one day. It's a big source of pride for me. I, I mean, I love the university, I love this football program, and I love the, the teammates and the coaches and everybody, and it's just a, it's a great thing to say that you can be a Jayhawk. That's something you don't get every day. You know? It's not something that everybody gets a chance to experience, and I'm one of the lucky few who got a chance to experience that. You know, bonding with guys from all over the nation. You know, through life, I can always look back and say to my kids, you know, this is where I was. This is what I did. You know, senior day, you want to leave with a with a positive aspect. You know, you want to leave with a victory. You know, one thing I'm just trying to do with this program is just leave it all out there on the field on Saturday. I mean. Just give it everything I have every single play. It's been a long trip, and uh, I just want to end my mark off right and try to get a couple more wins under my belt before I leave here. What I want to do right now, man, is just, I just want to look at everybody, man, because this is the last time that I'm going to be able to come out of this locker room and see these faces. You know what I'm saying? This season ain't going the way we want it so far, but, but I'm hurt, good. man. We got three games left and three more opportunities to be able to turn this whole thing around. I'm gonna hurt, dog. I got my my mom outside, baby. This is my her second game to see me play. My grandma's in the second. My dad tried to come bust down from Philly, man. They can't always come to see me play, but they support me. You know what I'm saying? I came a long way. And I love KU. Because they gave me an opportunity that nobody would give me. So I couldn't walk, man. I had to wear this every day, bro. If I wanted to go out, I had to wear this. And I keep it in my locker to remind me where I came from. And look where I'm at now. And what I'm trying to tell y'all is y'all can do it too. But you gotta stick together. You can't skip no reps. When you're tired, you gotta get up and go. You gotta go because losing hurts, man. And I'm not trying to lose today. I'm determined to win. And I hope y'all with me. This is in my heart, man. I believe in this thing. Y'all got a great coach. Coach Gill is a great coach. Put yourself in shoes. They hurt. That's why when I go out on that field, I play on the line. I leave it on the line, man. Every single play. 
So I need y'all with me today, man. Okay, For my last you. time with y'all, I need y'all with me today. Fighting, crying, blood, sweating, tears, let them feel everything we did. Let's go and say this one together. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Opening possession of the ball game. Darian Miller has the snap. He's going to run. And he's got a first down. He's at the 35, 30, out of the 25. Tackled at the 22. Kick is on the way into that win, and it is good. He got it. His second college field goal. He had one last week at Ames. So the Jayhawks get a field goal out of that. David, here comes RG3, a 74% pass. Going to take the can away and throw it. And it's caught over there by Kendall Wright. But he gets popped almost immediately. And he takes the hand off. He's going to throw it. It's batted in the air. It is intercepted. He used Steven Johnson's got it. Here's Griffin. He's going to pitch it. And he throws it away. It's up for grabs. Let's see if the Hawks covered it. Let's see if Hawks got it. Kansas with the football. And it's going to be a draw play to Miller. To the 40-yard line, to the 35, and a first down. Gives the Miller misdirection. He comes near side to the 20, to the 10, diving, and they're going to call holding on Kansas. Second and four, KU after all that. Here's a screen pass to the Shears. Far side, diving for the stick. They're going to go to Sam. First down to the 20, dragging a man to the 16. Matthews keeps it and walks it into the end zone. The line of scrimmage is now run by Kansas offensively, and they've done well defensively. It's early on, but you like the trend set by these Jayhawks. Third and 10, Baylor, four on the play clock, and Griffin to throw it, and it's incomplete, off target. And uh, it was tended for Terrence Williams, and it'll be fourth down, Baylor. They're up 10 to zero. You can't turn it over here. First down, Jayhawks at their own 25. Play action. Webb back to throw, slides out to the left, puts it up for grabs, and oh, it's intercepted. No. This may be a pick six. And fumble in the end zone. I think Kansas got it. Let's see if they rule this as a fumble. Hatch got it in the air. And we are going to have another review, folks. On oh, that. This will be goody, reviewed. goody, goody. We've only had seven so far this half, so why not? After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Kansas, though, is keeping RG3 on the sideline. Kansas has had the ball over 15 minutes of play, but they'll need a big play here to maintain possession. It's third and 16 now as they've lost on each play. There's a little screen pass that is caught, but it's going to go for minus yards. Now, KU will be punting. They do have the win, but they need a good punt here from uh, Doherty. Third down play. Griffin back to throw. Has plenty of time. Throws the ball and it's caught for a ball's first. out. Oh, the ball came out on the tackle. Let's see if KU's got it. Isaac Wright's on it. And it is KU's ball. Jeff pulling out to the right. Wants to throw for it. And does. And a got sliding it. catch. Tim Berry. Gives to Miller. Miller behind right guard. May have a first down. He needed the 15-yard line. And he's got it. Here's Sims. Stretching out, and he got pushed back. Oh, ah, touchdown is the call. Reach the ball forward. He risked the fumble. A little risky right there, but Kansas gets a touchdown with just 26 Kansas seconds Kansas remaining Kansas. to give to RG3 when he comes back on the field. Empty backfield. Griffin back there. Now he sends a man in motion, and they're going to fake a handoff, and Griffin's going to run it. Look out. He's into the secondary. Two seconds. There's the snap. And Griffin rolls out and throws it. It is caught at the 50. And got to get that guy tackled. Here he comes to the near side and pulled down. Half times here was Tevin Reese. And now a flag. They call a horse collar on Anthony for that. Oh, and so my. Bader will get an opportunity to kick a field goal. They'll extend this one play. A personal foul grabbing the face mask by the defense. Penalty is 15 yards and extend the period for a play. Wow. Gives Baylor a chance to get some points. 37-yarder, right hash mark. Here's the kick, at plenty of distance, and it's good. Oh, there was a three-point gift for Baylor to end the half. At the half, Kansas 17, Baylor three. Okay, you will have the ball to start the second half. Let's keep playing, keep going for turns. Keep going, you got that, know how to finish this thing. 
Keep going. Finish. Finish it. Right here. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. Hey, play with confidence all the way through. Play with confidence. Here we all again. Right here. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, finish. All three. One, two, three. Finish. First down play. Hand off Miller. Jumps over a man at the 25 and forward close to the 30. 17-3 KU. Here's Webb giving to James Sims. Forward to the 40 and stretching out to the 36. Good pass play. Webb throws over the middle. Tim Beery caught it with it sitting on the turf down there. First down. Here's the running. Breaks a tackle. 30. on the run, throws it, intercepted! KU's got it, Anthony Davis! And he's tackled at the 22. KU's got only the fifth interception of the year for RG3. And right through the hands of Kendall Wright. And how about these Kansas Jayhawks sitting on senior day? Here's Griffin keeping, and he breaks into the secondary. He may go down to the 20, to the 10, and into the end zone. A touchdown for Baylor, Robert Griffin the third. And there's the one you don't want to give up, the easy one. Doherty feels it and kicks it in a boomer down the field. And it will be caught at the goal line, taken into the end zone, and it goes down at the two. Baylor at its own two-yard line throws a pass to Terrence Williams, and he may have a first down. First down, Baylor at their own 36. Here's Griffin to throw it to the end zone. He's got a guy. Touchdown, Terrence Williams open for the score. Darian Miller in a running back. Gonna go to him. He gets to the 25 and up to the 26. Here's Webb Just to throw it, does under pressure. Incomplete. Mundine had it right in his number and couldn't catch it. Just unfortunate, the Jayhawks have made so many big conversions on third down and fourth down in this game, but the last two drives could have had third down conversions, but guys just dropped the ball. Griffin, play action, about to throw it. Cranks up, throws long, up that field, and it is caught at the 30 by Reese. He's going to go. Touchdown. Off. Bashir's at the 20, trying to find space to the 30, goes wide to the 40, up the sidelines, out of bounds near midfield. It goes in motion, Bell Lewis the running back, Dale's going to throw it, here's the pass, caught by Pick for a first down. He's going to throw, now he's going to run, and he's got the first down. Webb in the shotgun, backs up, and sends a pass that is broken up, that has to be interference. No flag. Oh, it's intercepted. My goodness. And it was clear. It was deflected and caught, and they're caught, letting the play stand. They're showing it on the big board, and the fans are irate. And what would have been a first down for Kansas with an opportunity to kick a field goal is now going to give the ball back to Baylor. 25 seconds remaining and three Baylor timeout. Oh, that is fine. Griffin back to throw. Now he steps up. Now he's going to run out to the side. And he's hit. Down he goes at the 25-yard line. Griffin back to throw it. Cranks up. Throws long to the far side. It's a jump ball. It is incomplete. And we're going to overtime. Baylor with the ball here in overtime. They'll have the first possession. 24-24. Got a man in motion. And a handoff a out wide. And... Tackled at the 20-yard line is Salupi, who gained about five yards. Second down, Baylor, second and five. Salupi's in the backfield, and he's got it again, and he runs for a first down to the nine-yard line. Now Ganaway's in it running back. Play action, throwing over the middle, touchdown. So you got to score a touchdown to keep the game going. Of course, the turnover, the game's over. Anything that doesn't result in a touchdown and an extra point, the game is over. First down play, it's a pass play. Beery's got it! Touchdown! And there it is, play action fake inside, rise up and throw to your senior from Omaha. And a quick little look, Tim Beery lined up as a true tight end. And Tim Beery, just like that, with a point after touchdown, will tie it up and put the pressure back on the visitors. They're going to call timeout. Would they think about going yes. for two here? Yes. I think, I think that could definitely be a possibility. you got to think that your offense isn't going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, the second offense in the nation. I think 
it's huge. I think it's huge for the seniors. I mean, everyone needs a come. special memory. This will be the special memory for the seniors here at Memorial Stadium. Here you know, comes the play. The shotgun is Jordan Webb. They need three yards. Four wide receivers, shotgun one back. Mary is swatted out to the right. You needing this two-point conversion to win the game. And coverage. All the Here's the snap. Here. Here's the play, a pass play. Incomplete, and Baylor wins it. Keep going working, guys. And we'll get out of this funk. Good work. Good work, man. It's got those little things that we always talk about. There's one or two plays right there that we got to make. The only way that you can try to make those plays is we continue to uh, come to practice, stay focused, and keep working at it. Got two games here. Still try to finish this thing up strong. And we will finish this thing up strong. We will finish this thing up strong. Come on here together. Team, all three. One, two, three. 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 